Hi, this is Donna. Going to talk about finding a realtor. So I'm a realtor and I got in the position to where I was helping somebody find a realtor somewhere else in another state. And suddenly I felt like I was like the customer <laughs> because everybody was treating me like the customer, even though I was trying to find somebody else a realtor. So I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> so my best uh, thoughts on that are, you know, most of the realtors didn't have videos on YouTube uh, that I was looking for. And the ones that did have YouTube videos, it was wonderful because I could see what kind of people they were, uh, where they sold, <clears throat> what areas were their preferenced areas. And, you know, you get a feel for their personality and, and their vibe. And, you know, you could go, oh, would this person, you know, you know, feel comfortable with this person? So, uh, you know, my <clears throat> other thing that I did is I looked up the people's websites or where they worked or just whatever information I could find online. And I kind of collected a uh, a uh, larger list and try to condense it and condense it. It's still a bigger list. There's a lot of realtors out there and you have to find uh, which realtors you think are going to work best for you. And then when you've condensed them to maybe like two or three, then have a conversation with them, uh, either Zoom or video call or on the phone. Uh, if you could meet in person, that's great, but it's always good to have a couple of conversations and if you want to work together and the timing is happens to be now, uh, then you can sign paperwork to work together. Uh, if it's not now and you want to work with that person, obviously have that realtor keep in touch so they can, you know, contact you and, and have you go, oh yeah, you know, I have that realtor <laughs> that I like, that I want to work with when I'm ready to buy or sell. So it's all, it's all good things to know. Uh, definitely go to YouTube, uh, online, LinkedIn, wherever, realtor.com. But if you just see them in one source, try to find several sources to get a feel for them and what they do. And what I felt like when I was finding a realtor is, you know, the ones on big teams and the top producers and the ones that have been doing the longest aren't always your best choice. You want somebody you know that's going to work with you exclusively. And you have to decide whether I w I'm okay with three or four agents d dealing with my transaction uh, well, when I go through this process or do I just want one person working with me throughout the whole process. And the other thing is, is if they're doing tons and tons of transactions and don't have a team, you have to think about the fact that are they going to be exclusively available to take the time uh, and work with me, you know, one on one and be emotionally there and not have 20 other things going on. So food for thought and talk to you later. Bye.